Hey everyone, I'm Siddhis Rimal and welcome to this presentation on TensorFlow Developer Certification Experience. Uh, so like I said, I'm Siddhis Rimal, I'm Google Developer Expert on Machine Learning and I currently live in Nepal. And if you'd like to reach out to me, here are my social media handles. So this uh, presentation will roughly give you you know idea about how you can better prepare yourself for this exam and this presentation is divided into four parts one uh, what happens uh, what you need to do before giving the exam how you can better prepare yourself second what happens during the exam and third uh, what happens after you submit the exam and some uh, takeaways okay so let's get uh, let's get into this uh, how we, how you can better prepare yourself before giving the exam so this uh, exam largely focuses on your ability to train a deep neural network using uh, tensorflow framework keras high level api and its sequential api so you need to know how you can use the sequential api how you can add layers different type of layers uh, using this api how you can you know add optimizers uh, loss functions how you can compile them and train your model and evaluate your model so basically you need to know this end to end process of you know uh, giving the data to your model training your model and evaluating your model and which brings us to the second point you need to figure out how you can load your data and convert it into a proper format that can be you know understood by the model and uh, so to do that you need to know techniques such as normalization uh, data augmentation so perhaps you have heard of techniques like you know uh, you know like techniques like uh, rotating your image uh, you know uh, adding some noise to your image and things like that so these are all types of data augmentation you need to know how you can uh, do this augmentation on your image data and you need to know how you can prepare a model for different uh, data set like for image uh, text and time series uh, related data sets and while doing so uh, you need to figure out how you can you know use this technique called transfer learning and a technique like uh, you need to figure out how if your model is overfitting or not so you need to know all these techniques to you know better prepare for this exam and lastly after training your model and evaluating your model you need to know how you can save your model in a proper format so these are all this uh, the, you know like uh, information this knowledge that you need to have to give and to pass this examination so now let me share with you some of the resources that are uh, highly beneficial to you uh, while you know like uh, you know like to prepare yourself for this exam and to learn all these techniques so uh, these two resources one is this book called hands-on machine learning with scikit learn keras and tensorflow and the second is this deep learning specialization deep learning ai specialization on tensorflow developer professional certification by lawrence maroney these two books are highly beneficial if you are looking forward to you know give this exam and this uh, these two resources will give you better idea how you can better prepare for this exam and all these techniques that I have just mentioned uh, are there so if you finish either this specialization or the book you will have a good idea good understanding of these techniques and you can give this uh, exam more confidently and if you can follow both these resources, resources uh, that will be really great so I highly suggest you to either pick one of them or follow both now uh, before giving the exam uh, you need to do some things uh, other than preparing yourself knowledge wise so this exam uh, is you know conducted by this platform uh, called true ability and to give this exam to appear yourself before the exam you need to validate your id and uh, so make sure to be on a safe side make sure you allocate one day extra to validate your id and you can validate your id using a, a you know 
know like a legal id like a passport or a driving license and uh, for some it takes a few hours for some it takes a day so make sure uh, you allocate one day extra uh, to validate your id and you cannot give the exam if you haven't you know validated your id yet so make sure to do that and th this is very crucial so you go to this true ability uh, platform you sign up you validate your id and then only you can give the exam now uh, this exam is you know uh, you know delivered or you give this exam using this IDE called PyCharm so you need to know how to use this IDE and uh, basically in PyCharm what you need to know is how you can set uh, Python interpreters and the dependencies these packages in your project how you can you know uh, run your active uh, Python file inside the IDE and how you can you know put uh, your external model in in your file file for uh, file structure folder structure in Py, pycharm ide so these three things are very crucial uh, to pass this exam so you you better figure out how you can you know like use this pycharm ide learn its fundamentals like you know running a file setting up interpreters and how you can put a different trend model inside your project directory and things like that so these are very you know crucial for you to know before giving the exam so make sure you know all these concepts and while uh, you know giving this exam you will be given a confidential guide as well where there are extra information given to you and that will be very uh, you know beneficial to you while giving the exam as well and uh, this uh, guide will have this uh, specific uh, information uh, you know related to this exam so make sure to read this guide very carefully very carefully as well and uh, be before giving the exam, uh, you, you can go to uh, the TensorFlow certification official website and download this uh, PDF file where uh, there is this instruction on what are required uh, for your system uh, to have, you know, to give this exam. So like uh, what version uh, of Python is required or uh, Python IDE or the plugin uh, to give this exam. So make sure you download that PDF file as well okay and after you install your pycharm ide you need to install this plugin called tensorflow developer certificate and make sure that the version of this plugin is compatible with your current ide and to do that you need to follow this uh, technical specification pdf that is given to you on this official website of tensorflow certification so make sure to read this uh, pdf very carefully carefully to know like what version of tensorflow plugin is uh, you know you need to install or the pycharm ide so make sure to know that uh, to follow that and uh, if you have installed all this uh, you know like uh, plugins and ide carefully with the version specified by the pdf then you are good to go after that uh, let's get into what happens during the exam so this exam is a five hours long exam with five questions and uh, you don't need to you know rush uh, while giving this exam so if you have uh, followed this course that i specialize on or read the book very carefully then there is no need to you know rush to finish the exam you will be able to finish the exam uh, in time so make sure you are not uh, you know panicking you know it's not uh, in general good for you know any candidate to panic during the exam so be calm and you will be able to finish the exam in time and make sure uh, if you if you are you know like uh, this uh, course uh, course specialization is very beneficial for you uh, specific to this uh, uh, exam as well so make sure to follow this uh, specialization and if you have done this specialization you will be able to finish the exam in time and uh, the interesting thing about this exam is that you don't need to train your models on your uh, device on your personal device you can use cloud provider or better you know collab which is free you can use gpu and tpu to train your model so uh, you can use uh, google collab to train your model and download the uh, saved uh, model file and put it in your uh, 
project directory and test the model to pass the exam so you can do uh, you can do that while giving the exam so you don't need to worry if your hardware if your personal computer is not up to date uh, you know like a uh, very slow to train a deep learning model you can easily use collab to train your model and use this uh, train model file to test uh, test uh, the model and uh, test uh, submit the exam so after you finish the exam after you complete all these five questions and submit the exam what happens is that if you have passed the exam uh, in matter of minutes you know you will get this email uh, this email where you, uh, it basically says that you have passed the exam and that's it and after you know like uh, 24 hours or so you will get this digitally signed certificate as well so that is all there is to you know like uh, to know about what happens after you submit the exam so the crucial thing is that you better prepare yourself with all the these techniques that I have just mentioned before appearing uh, appearing before the exam and make sure uh, you have uh, followed all this uh, uh, technique and there is also another handbook given to you on this official website of tensor for certification where what what kind of uh, you know like uh, techniques or knowledge you need to have before you appear yourself to the exam so make sure you follow that guideline as well uh, that basically says a uh, course um, no uh, tensorflow developer certification uh, handbook and make sure you follow the handbook make sure you follow this uh, technical specification handbook where there is you know there where following that you can learn how you can better set up your uh, computer uh, for the exam and if you if you have all this knowledge uh, like uh, you know training your deep, ne deep neural network use keras and sequential api saving your model better evaluating your model then it's most likely that you can you know pass this exam so uh, that is all there is to you know like things you need to know to prepare yourself for this uh, certification exam and um, with that i i hope uh, you know this uh, short presentation is somehow useful to you and i wish you all the best for the exam